Mom, I have a problem. What's wrong? Has something bad happened? No, nothing bad, Mom. Can you call Julia, please? Hello, everyone, and welcome to this English reading practice. Today is Sunday, March 19th, 2023, and I hope you can join me and help me improve my English. This short story by Oli Richards is called Crazy Paella, and I will share with you the reading of chapter number two, Spain. Esta es una nueva manière de lernen, apprendre, aprendere, languages, and quanto disfruta, accents, alphabet, culturen, sonidos, regole gramaticale, quickly and easily, alors, bon rim travail, et bienvenue à Lingusta. Our plane lands in Barcelona. My friend Armando is waiting at the airport. Hi, Daniel, he says. He gives me a big hug. I'm so happy you're here. Hi, Armando. It's great to see you, I reply. Armando looks at my sister, Julia. I introduce them. Armando, my friend, this is my sister, Julia. Armando turns to Julia. He kisses her on each cheek. Hi, Julia. Pleased to meet you. My sister is very shy. She's especially shy when she meets new people. Hello, Armando, she says. Her face turns red, then she becomes quiet. Your sister is really shy, isn't she? Armando says to me, smiling. Yes, she is. She is lovely, I say. A short while later, we head for Armando's flat. We are staying there for the term. We get a taxi. After 30 minutes, we arrive in Barcelona Center. The taxi costs 41 euros and 50 cents. Armando says it is the usual rate to this section of the city. We pay for the taxi and get out. It's a short walk to Armando's flat. It's June and it's really hot. But there is a nice wind to call us. We arrive at the flat at lunchtime. My sister and I are really hungry. Armando, I say, where can we eat? There are a couple of good restaurants in the area. What types of food do they have? One of the restaurants, La Paella Luca, has a great paella. I really recommend it. You can take the bus there. The other one has lovely fish. It's just next door. Julia, do you want to have paella? I ask my sister. Yes, I'm so hungry, she replies. Armando can't come with us. He is a teacher and he has a class. So Julia and I head for the paella restaurant. It's a short walk to the bus station. Hmm, now, which bus goes to the paella restaurant? I ask Julia. I don't know, she replies. Let's ask. She points to a man in a white shirt. We walk over to the man. He smiles. Hello, can I help you? Hi, how do we get to La Paella Loca restaurant? I ask. It's easy. The number 35 bus goes in that direction. It goes right to La Paella Loca. However, there's a small problem. What's that? I ask. That bus is normally packed at this time. Okay, thank you, we say. As we walk to the nearest bus stop, Julia and I talk. She's not comfortable with taking the bus. Daniel, she says, let's just eat at the fish restaurant. It's easier. I don't want to take a packed bus. I know. I begin. Then I have an idea. Wait, I'll take the bus to La Paella Loca. You go to the fish restaurant. Why? Because that way we can compare the two restaurants. Oh, good idea. Okay, enjoy. I'll call your mobile later, she calls and walks off. I get on the next bus and sit down. I'm very tired. I quickly go to sleep. The bus system in Barcelona is very good. I know there is nothing to worry about. I wake up. A while later, the bus has stopped. There's no one else on it except for the driver. Excuse me, I say. Where are we? We've arrived in Valencia. 
It replies, What? Valencia? We're in Valencia. How can that be? I say. Well, this is the express bus. It goes directly from Barcelona to Valencia, he tells me. I can't believe it. I took the wrong bus. But what can I do? I thank the driver and get off the bus. Then I take out my mobile. I want to call my sister. But I can turn it on. My battery has died. I check my watch. It's just after 5 o'clock in the afternoon. My sister doesn't know where I am. She must be really worried. I have to contact her. I need a phone box. I ask a woman on the street for a phone box. There's one, she says pointing. It's just over there. I thank her and head for the phone box. But when I get there, I realize something. Julia's phone number is in my mobile's memory. I can't turn my mobile on. I finally have a phone, but I don't have a number. Now what? I think for a while, then I realize something. I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten since breakfast. I decide to find a restaurant. I can think about my problems later. I find a restaurant up the street. The waiter comes to my table. Good evening, he says happily. Good evening, I reply. What would you like? He asks slowly in Spanish. I look quickly at the menu. I'd like. Paella, I say in Spanish. Sorry, I didn't understand you. He answers in Spanish. I try again. My Spanish can be that bad. Um, I like paella. I point madly at the word paella on the menu. Then I say it again in English. Finally, the waiter then smiles and says in English, Thanks, I'm not from here. I'm new and my Spanish isn't that great. I start to laugh very loudly. A lot of people in the restaurant turn and look. This point, I'm embarrassed. I didn't need to laugh so loudly. But I don't care. It's all too much. This whole situation is just so strange. My sister and I wanted to have paella together. Now here I am, eating paella, but alone in Valencia. And my sister doesn't know where I am. It's so ironic. I finish dinner and pay the bill. Then reality sinks in. What do I do now? My mobile doesn't work. There is a phone box, but I don't have my sister's number. What can I do? Then I remember. I can call London. I know the number to my mom and dad's house. I go back to the phone box. I call my parents' number. It rings four times. Finally, my mom says, Hello. Hi, mom. It's Daniel. Daniel, she says. How are you? How's Barcelona? It's good. Um, mom, I have a problem. What's wrong? Has something bad happened? No, nothing bad, mom. Can you call Julia, please? Tell her that I'm in Valencia and tell her my mobile battery has died. In Valencia? What are you doing in Valencia? It's a long story, mom. I'll tell you the details later. We say goodbye. I decide to get a hotel room. There is one available up the street. I can go back to Barcelona tomorrow. Right now, I need sleep. I pay for a night's stay in cash. I use the money from my dad. I have no credit cards with me. I go to my room. I take off my clothes and get into bed. I turn off the light and go to sleep. I'm really tired. What a crazy day. And that's it. Let me know what you think of it. C'est fini. Merci. Gracias. Danke. Yes, yes. And thanks for watching and listening to Lingosta.